Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on 10 skills required for network engineers. So these are the 10 skills which I think a network engineer should have. So the very first skill which I think a network engineer should have is strong knowledge of networking concepts. So there are a lot of comments uh, which I receive on my YouTube channel on emails also I get this comment that so what what is the first step when we are approaching to become a network engineer so the very first thing is that you should be very thorough with the networking concepts so you should have a strong knowledge of networking concepts so a network engineer must must have a deep understanding of networking concepts like uh, something known as OSI layer so you should have a good understanding of OSI layer. Uh, you should have a good understanding of IP addressing, uh, then subnetting, VLANs, VTP, STP, uh, then routing, uh, static routing, routing protocols, network protocols. So, so this, these are the stuffs, uh, these are the conceptual things which a person should have a good knowledge to become a network engineer. So this is the very first skill. The second skill, what I think is that uh, a network engineer should have good knowledge about networking devices. He should have a knowledge or he should be aware that how a router works, uh, how a switch works, firewalls, load balances works, how the uh, wireless access points work. So these are all the, comp these are all the devices uh, in, in networking and how they work, what is the functionality and where they are placed in the network so this kind of information or this kind of knowledge a person must have to become a network engineer the third skill is uh, probably a skill which comes uh, of after few years of experience but again i'll think that this is something of which a network engineer must have is the troubleshooting and problem solving skill a network engineer needs to be able to identify you should be able to identify how what the problem is like i've mentioned over here like you know what the problem is whether that problem is a connectivity problem a performance problem a security vulnerability problem what kind of problem it is you should be able to identify the problem and resolve the problem so this resolution of the problem identifying and resolving the problem is something troubleshooting the problem and this comes out when a network engineer have a correct mindset have a correct approach while solving that problem the fourth thing this is the thing which i have mentioned a uh, skill which uh, which is very important nowadays is network security because security is something which is very 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 important in any network uh, so a network engineer should have good understanding of network security principles and best practices so what are the network security principles uh, what are the fundamentals of network security what are the best practices used in the industry that knowledge uh, should should be there and which includes like you know configuration of firewalls uh, now having a good understanding of firewalls very important uh, there are a lot of firewall vendors uh, like Palo Alto a checkpoint even Cisco AC firewalls so if you were more interested in becoming a network security engineer you may approach towards studying this uh, vendors firewalls fifth point or the fifth skill is about network protocols so a uh, network engineer should have should have a very good knowledge about networking protocols now if you are approaching to become a networking engineer of course uh, you'll be doing something known as routing part so whenever you're doing about the routing part you should be aware of the routing protocols which includes ospf uh, then uh, eigrp and bgp bgp is something which uh, a network engineer should know and uh, it's just a vast routing protocol i've made some videos on that protocol in my um, on my youtube channel again a network engineer should also be aware of various technologies uh, again you should be aware of uh, like as I've mentioned over here, MPLS, IPv6, then DNS, DHCP, VLANs, and uh, VPNs. Again, I've also made some videos on VPN. You can you can go through those videos as well. Uh, uh, I 
have made a dedicated playlist for IPC VPNs. So you can also have a look at that. I've made that uh, videos in I think in Hindi and English both language. So you can go through those videos. Uh, strong communication skills. Yes, this is very important. A network engineer should have an excellent verbal. It should be verbal communication is very important and as well as equally important is the written communications like email writing and everything so this is also very important uh, communication uh, a skill which is uh, which a network engineer should have because you know a network engineer uh, when he is working he will have to communicate with uh, uh, with technical guys as well as with some non technical stakeholders so so this communication skill uh, becomes very very important networking tools a network engineer should have an hands on or else a good knowledge about the network monitoring tools and network management softwares uh, this is probably for uh, network monitoring tools basically these are something which are used by uh, the uh, the l1 engineers so there are a lot of requests guys i have got to make a video on profile of an l1 engineer so if you want that i should make a video on that please let me know in the comment section i'll try to make that video as well so this network monitoring tool knowledge is very important there are a lot of uh, network monitoring tools the one which which which, which is my favorite and i've used in uh, in my career is whatsapp bolt so that is that is something you know uh, you can try and figure it out at how it works so network monitoring tools uh, is uh, uh is, is is very important guys who are working as an l1 engineers those may be very very much familiar about that how to configure the network monitoring tool how to do monitoring out of that how to check the alarms and everything from that again there are some softwares which do not network management as well where you can configure or you can manage your devices from the software the networking devices so this is a very important skill which i think a network engineer must have the eight skill this is something which is which is not applicable only to networking field but to each and every field that continuous learning and ability to adapt to the new changes of so so, so this is very important you know there are a lot of uh, things which we talk about that we should learn like uh, then the new things the new tools the new technologies to adapt to whatever is changing in the market and stay stay up up to date that is that is very important so continuous learning is very 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 important in any in, in any field and nowadays there you are know, a lot of uh, paid uh, platforms also udemy where you have to get like it's a, it's, a, it's a paid thing but 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 it's a good stuff you can join some classes or some uh, some 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 coaching classes or the best thing to start is youtube because on youtube you'll get a lot of content for free so the ninth skill this is something which is uh, which is very important teamwork because in networking you will find that uh, teamwork is very important the collaboration is very important because uh, you know if you may be a good network engineer but you should also have the ability to become a good team member this is very important because network engineer uh, often like communicate with, uh, with with lot of other stakeholders also uh, which includes like the system engineers the database engineers uh, the the security analysts have mentioned over here so they should have a good communication skill as i mentioned in the previous slide but also good team member because they have to coordinate with lot of different people the last but the most important thing which many people ignore is documentation and technical writing so a network engineer should have the ability to document network configurations whatever network configuration and even do he should be he should have the ability to actually document those network configuration properly the procedures the troubleshooting steps very accurately and also he should have a good technical writing skills now what is technical writing skills so technical writing skills means preparing technical reports like some some reports where you have to present the data the technical data so those reports some proposals technical proposals network diagrams this is something which is so important in network like 
networking diagram preparing those network diagram network designs and properly uh, preparing so that it's a very clear communication a way a network engineer can have when when he's making good documentation uh, he can communicate very well with the other stakeholders also because of those network diagrams of those network configurations of the procedures the troubleshooting steps he took so these are this is also a very important skill so guys these are the 10 skills which i think a network engineer should have to become a good network engineer basically there are a lot of questions on my youtube channel uh, i was getting that how to become a network engineer what are the skills uh, that someone should have to become a network engineer guys so guys i'll tell you that focus on this particular 10 skills you will all you will definitely have a bright future i'll stop guys in this video for now i'll catch up in the next video till then bye thanks and take care